Hi, everyone. My name is Doug Silvers, and this is a time we're calling a meditation moment. It's a time where we take just a little bit of time during our week, and we'll go over all of the things that Trinity Methodist Church is doing. We're located here in Morristown, Tennessee, and we go over all of these things that, that we are doing, hoping that you might become a part of that and join us in ministry. And uh, we start off always with a prayer. It's always good to start with that, and I always use our common book of prayer. And here's what we are giving given for this week. It says, O oh God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may be in all things, direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So now that we're centered, we know what we're supposed to be doing this week. We're given good prayers that help us in that. And hopefully we've got good mentors and examples in our lives that help us do that. Now that we've got ourselves a little bit centered, let's talk a little bit about our week. We have a few things going on. Today's Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we're going to have MomCo. They're going to be uh, coming. That's where our, our young Mothers, they'll come and, and they'll have a time to discuss and go over things to find community. And many times they have a speaker of some type or another that will come and deliver some type of message. Tomorrow's no different. We have Isaiah House coming tomorrow, and they're going to be offering a message, their testimony, telling about who they are, uh, things like that. So tomorrow will be a very good day. There'll be child care available. Um, of course, there'll be child care available. Y'all got moms, y'all got kids, right? So that we have that. Tomorrow evening, we have all of our regular programming. We have uh, food at five. We'll have all of our Bible studies at six and choirs after that. 715, we have handbells that's nestled in there as well. So for all of our ministry areas, if you want to volunteer and be a part of those, we'll, we'll definitely have a place for you. You just have to come and ask us and see where you might might find your home as far as ministry goes. So that's tomorrow. Thursday, we have Spicy Chicks. They are coming tomorrow night at 6. And they are also going to talk about their testimony, how they began, how they are helping people around them. They're going to be making some recipes. You'll get to eat some of their food. They're going to be donating some food at Isaiah House, and then they're also going to take up a love offering for Isaiah House. And so you are invited to that as well. It's open to anyone. You know, you don't have to be male or female, young or old. You're all invited to that. You just have to like food. So come and be involved in that as well. One other thing that we have going on this week is this Saturday at 10 a.m., we're getting all of our staff, all of our volunteers. We're making sure that everyone is CPR certified. There's a lot of new things that are out there. You might not think so, but they even have those uh, small chokers. And we have one here, but I don't know how to use it yet. So it's very important that all of our volunteers and all of our staff that we're qualified and we know how to use these things. And in case of an emergency, you're able to do what's necessary. So that'll be this Saturday at 10 a.m. That's our weekly events, uh, as far as I know so far, but uh, we will have church on Sunday, and I, I've been praying and, and going over this message for a long time, and I want to give you a little bit of hints and, and helpful reminders of, of things that you can be doing to prepare. Now, we just finished a three-week series about, it's called What It's All About, and now we're going to be going in a new direction. And so this sermon title is called... The Bible's purpose for us. That's really broad. So um, let me give you a little bit of scripture to narrow this down a little bit. The main scripture, main text I'm going to be using is Genesis 5, 5 through 32. But I also have a great New Testament reference in that, and it's 1 Timothy 3, verses 16 and 17. Now, a few questions that I want you to answer after you've meditated a little bit over that scripture. The first one is this, wherever you are right now, and I know there's no way for you to cheat, but where's your Bible? Look around you right now. 
Where is your Bible? Is it in the other room? Is it by your bed where you read in the morning or at night? Is it, uh, is it on the bookshelf? Is that where it is? Are you not sure where your Bible is right now? That's a great question to start with. Where is it? Because it leads us into the discussion on these next couple of questions. The first one, are you dedicating time in your week to read your Bible? Because that's going to show what the importance level is of what do you think the purpose of the Bible is? How important is it to you in your daily and your weekly regimen? What are you doing? What's the purpose of the Bible? Okay. Think about that personally. What's the purpose? Socially, what's the purpose of the Bible? What does that show us? And then eternally, what does the Bible give us? What's the purpose of the Bible? Because if, if you don't know and, and read your Bible, how are you ever going to discern what is truth? You know, that was one of the main things that Pilate had uh, when he was arguing with Jesus. He said, what is truth? So if, you, if you're not reading, if you're not holding, if you don't have your Bible close at hand, how can you discern or, or how can you answer that question? So think about that. And then here's your homework. I usually give you verses. Today I'm giving you a task. I want you to search the scriptures and I want you to think about one verse that answers that question. What is the purpose of? of our Holy Scripture. What's the purpose? Or what's it tell us that we need to know? Just pick out one verse. Maybe, maybe you find one very quickly. John 3, 16, right? The, t- the gospel in one verse. But I want you to find one. I want you to locate something that, that, that offers to us what the purpose of God's Word is. So you'll have some things to go over this week, a little bit of reading, and then we'll come in the church on Sunday. I'm excited about it. I always love coming in to worship and, and being with you, and, and more than anything, just having the presence of God with us. So I want to invite you to that. I want you to invite your family and friends. And by the way, pray over your family and your friends. And I want you to pray over someone that you know is tr- struggling. And pray for them this week. And maybe you offer them an invitation at that right moment. But I want to wish you God's blessings, and I hope you have a great week. Please contact me, Suzanne, Julia, any of our staff with any needs that you might have, and we'll do whatever we can to help you. Okay? God bless you all, and have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.